when I walk and sit up straight. Just know that I love everybody that love me. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. Got everything asking for but you. Hey y'all, I am back with another video. More specifically, a new natural hair video. Last time I did a braid out. This time I'm giving y'all my wash and go routine. Yes, I'm just I'm just handing it to y'all, like just giving it to y'all. But before we get started into the material, you know what I'm using, da da da. I just have some good news to announce. I am now a YouTube partner i am part of the youtube partner program i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if you are subscribed to my channel i reached my 1000 subscriber count goal and i also reached my 4000 watch hour goal and i am just so thankful for everybody that continues to watch my youtube videos like it just means so much to me so like i said we are doing a another natural hair video and this time it's going to be a wash and go so i'm gonna just get y'all hit to all the materials that we're going to be using today well, number one let's get to the basics got two spray bottles you know i have to have a pink one had to double we are also going to be using a staple like y'all saw this in the other video um this camille rose twisting butter the strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner from shea moisture yeah i do not like recording with people in the room so i had to stop <laughs> and then we got the big boy the staple no other gel is better than this one like nobody can convince me otherwise the argan oil eco styler nobody's topping this let's get into it and the rest of this is going to be a voiceover so bye y'all it was very nice talking to y'all and yeah hopefully i can get this video out soon okay y'all so i will be starting off with freshly washed hair y'all know i do not use towels so yes i am taking that cotton t-shirt off you know we gotta shake and just like the other video i enjoy working in sections it just makes everything easier so i'm gonna start off with this little section first and i'm gonna put a towel over me just so i don't get my stuff dirty and i'm just gonna get a spray bottle and drench the hair like y'all this is a wash and go we need those curls juicy and defined so i'm just gonna spray until i can't no more gonna get that leave-in conditioner and open that <laughs> get the leave-in conditioner and i use a lot of this sometimes i feel like i use too much but just rake that through and here even though i don't need more i am adding more leave-in conditioner and making sure i'm raking it through and then getting my tangle teaser and in order for this to be a really good and defined wash and go i need it to be detangled so i'm just gonna brush through and you will see that it's a lot of product so i'm just gonna take the excess off and wipe it off on the towel and y'all right here i am so sorry but i was holding up the twisting butter i'm adding that i did not mean to put my middle finger up but then i'm gonna get some gel and put that all over the roots and work it down all the way to the ends because we need every curl to have gel on it to make sure that it is defined and you will see that i am using a whole bunch like it's never too much gel like it's gonna be stiff okay so there are a lot of methods that you can use to carry out a wash and go but for the entirety of this video i will be doing the shingling method so for the shingling method what you will be doing is getting the curls piece by piece and rubbing your two fingers down the hair shaft from root to end so you'll see me do that a few times here so i just get my pointer finger and my thumb and i just rub the gel all the way down and just making sure when you're doing this that the piece that you have has gel all over it and then when you get to the end just twirl it around your finger just so that curl can pop you know although this process is repetitive it is definitely worth it for the curls that we want okay so we got one section down and many to go but sometimes Throughout this process, you will notice that some of the curls are a little frizzy and it's no big deal. Just make sure you do the shingling method again and just rub it down from root to end and there you go. Please be done, 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 please be done
like I was saying earlier, sometimes I do use too much leave-in conditioner. You can see that from the white. But when it dries, it won't dry white, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of too much moisturizer. But like I said, this process is very repetitive, but the results of this wash and go is always worth it. So I'm going to do it every single time. On the north got Diego. Say I'm still a wiggle. We'll be in rapping kilo. Snub nose with potato. No monkey in the jungle fly high like a sauna. Bouncing off and I'm trying to weep and the corner. Jumping in the water trying to sleep across the water glass. See you as I got my big bag for Ronald. I'll bag it, bag him. If I did it, I'm a nudge with it, my man. For when I walk in, sit up straight. The cabbage and it's all coming in through my. Okay, y'all, so I am jumping back in because here I am doing something a little bit different. So to avoid having parts in my hair, I do this part in layers. So I work with the front part and then I just go back just so I don't have to deal with that middle part. And I just be goofy doing my hair. Like, that's the only thing that keeps me through this long process. But I am still doing the shingling method. Nothing has changed there. Draco, on the north got Diego. Diego. Say, I'm still a wiggle. Still a wiggle. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. So something else I do differently for the front part of my hair is scrunching because I do notice the curls in the front of my hair are a little bit looser than the ones in the back. Okay, y'all, it's about to get a little, just a tag ghetto real quick. So, my friend let me use her blow dryer attachment, but it is not compatible with my dryer. So, I have to do this ghetto stuff and I like, try to hold it, and that just wasn't working. So, I just had to turn on my problem solving engineering thinking skills and just take that bad boy on there. But right here, we are just going to diffuse my hair. So, basically, I'm just getting the blow dryer and just putting it on the ends. And as you can see, it's drying pretty quickly. And yeah, I just put it on my roots, my ends, and yeah. So this is what my hair looks like after I have diffused it. And it doesn't even look dry, but most of it is dry, but my roots are not dry at all. So I'm just going to get a bonnet and just sleep overnight with this. And yeah, my Aggie Pride bonnet. You know, y'all know the A&T bonnet. Just, I just got to do a collection at this point. Like, it's Aggie Pride when I go to sleep all day. So this is the next day, like midday. I did have my bonnet on. So it did, like, you know, scrunch it up a little bit. So I just shake, shake, shake. And then I had something to do the next day, y'all. Usually I will rock this because this is cute. But y'all know I am faithful to my scrunchies and my castor oil. So I am going to be banding my hair. So I first start off by putting a little bit of oil on there. Although it is very moisturized, I do like putting oil on there. The process of banding is very easy. So I basically just get the satin scrunchies. I section my hair off into however many sections I need. And then I just get the scrunchies and just put them all the way down my hair until I can't put them on there anymore. Hey, Okay, so when I get done banding all of the sections, it gives very much spider. But I make sure that I pull out these front pieces just because those are like my edges and I don't want my edges being pulled too hard. And then I just go to sleep. I just put my Aggie Pride back on and I wake back up in the morning and I take them out. This is the next day and I forgot to record, but it's really okay because this needs no explanation. I literally just took the scrunchies out and I just picked the hair apart. And y'all, here I am going to try to explain this, but I don't know if y'all seen my TikTok or just any of my Instagram posts, whatever, but I do this fake bang thing because Lord knows I would never cut my hair. And I'm gonna try to explain it. So basically I put the front part, the front middle part of my hair back and then I get bobby pins and I just bobby pin it back as you can see, however many you need, making sure there are no extra humps or whatever. And then after that, I push it to the front and you'll see that there's a big hump. So then I'll get more bobby pins and just flatten it out. And you will see that here. So just putting however many I need in there. And y'all, I didn't do it right this time, but I didn't feel like re-recording. But this is literally the basics. Like pinning it back, putting the bobby pin on there, pushing it back to the forward, and then pushing it down. And then, you know, I just manipulate and move it around a little bit, see what I'm working with. Oh, 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this wash and go video. Now I'm a rapper. After stretching my hair, you can see that the definition, babe, is still there. Just little bangs down, you know? Yeah, hopefully I, you know, explained it well enough. But yeah, and I'm all dressed up because I am a candidate for the 2023-2024 academic school year for my sophomore. And we have a candidate rally today. And you know who on the face, Taylor on the face every time, like, Mmm. Still for a while. 